my camera keeps fogging up, sorry. Good morning. Um, it is about 8.30 and I'm going to go do some washing. Also, do you like my top? It's like nice and tacky. So I'm just going to show you the washing process if you're staying at Disney Hotel. I look mental. Our washing facilities are here, not too fast. We're in Rancho, so these are our closest ones. So you do need a magic band to actually even get into this room. So uh, I'll show you how it works. Actually, scan at the door. There you go. When you come in on the wall, they have this machine which you can pay for. So you put your card in and out quickly, select your machine, set the cycle, how many machines you want. So you can do multiple. They also have a machine um, that you can get detergent from. So they've got the like normal tide, they have some bounce sheets, some green sheets, I think. Um, so the cycles on the washing machines, I've just done mine, they're $3 for 30 minutes. They've got white colours, bright colours, permanent press, I'm not sure what that is, woolens, delicates and knit. I have all of our stuff in the dryer at the moment. Um, so you've got whites and colours, perm press and delicates. Why is this not working? Come on. So I think this one was broken because I couldn't get it to work because I tried to select the cycle and it just wouldn't start. Although it's still charging me, which is fun. But this one I've managed to get to work. So we've got the dryer going. 60 minutes on the clock. Um, there is a really cool app. Let me see if I can put it over here. Um, so it shows you basically how to use it. Load your dryer. So make the payment. Set your cycle receipt. And then you can um, go on here and it will show you how long you have left on your cycle. So that one's been 60 minutes. Annoyingly, didn't really want it to take that long, but never mind. Oh, it's flapping a bit. So we'll leave that in there for a bit anyway, even if it's not fully dry. We just want it to be a bit drier. So um, 59 minutes left on the clock. So good luck washing. Get nice and dry, please. Have you seen a more perfect outfit? I'll wait. <laughs> Look, I've got my Crocs, yes. Bum bag, yes. Tacky Florida t-shirt, yes. Mickey balloon sunglasses, yes, yes, yes. This is my look today. You're welcome. I've just taken this outfit to an 11. Oh my goodness. Look at the 90s disco that I'm just rocking right now, yes. We've had a very chilled morning, um, so we did our washing, got our resort mugs filled, um, sorted out a few bits, and now it's about 11 o'clock, we're off to Epcot. We have a Space 220 lounge reservation at 12.40. The only rides we're meeting to in this park are Remy's and Fast Track. So we'll see if we can get those in today. Then we're gonna probably head over to Animal Kingdom maybe, finish up there, then come back to Epcot to watch Harmonious this evening. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And if I like it, I might get spirit jelly. I've come through security in Epcot and I've just realised over here, so all the like, the plinths or whatever they're called that were here before, the Leave a Legacy ones, they haven't got rid of them, they've just moved them to this like board. So I remember Jess has one on here somewhere, um, but that's cool, because you know when they went I thought oh, it's a bit of a shame because they're like a nice little history moment, but no they've moved them over here. So here's the main entrance bit, I'm not sure if they're on the other side as well, but the ones that I've just found uh, to the right as you walk in. For a while we tried to like take everything out of our bag and like try and go through the security without being stopped but different things set it off different times I just can't be bothered. <laughs> so I just walked through knowing now that my bag isn't going to checked and I've just accepted my fate. I've just gone, yeah, before, before we went through I was like, don't worry, I'm going to the bag bed. But I think Emma went to the wrong side because they've been a bit slower for her. But yeah, I mean the new system is way better and especially if you haven't got anything like, I carry camera equipment, I've got a po Polaroid camera in my bag which has been setting it off. Um, I know they say if you've got umbrellas or a hard um, camera case to take that and you know hold that in front of you but I just have too much, I just too much, I just leave it in my bag and I'll let them check it at the security point. There's no lightning lanes left for Remy so I'm just going to double check what the queue is for that. We may do that today, we'll see, I've done the Paris one and I know it's exactly the same here so I'm not sure, here she comes. Hello. I'm not sure if we're gonna do it, but yeah, I was just saying we've accepted our fate, we don't yeah. bother. <laughs> just like, you know what, I'm just gonna queue, I don't care. We've gone off every single time. Yeah, so. exactly. I think it's all the camera equipment. If you're not carrying much with it, you're fine. 
I just have a lot of camera stuff with me and I'm just like, you know what? I just have a lot of battery, like, oh, that sounds weird, battery operated thing. <laughs> you have a fan. My internet. Yeah, so, right. My sunglass case set, set it off last Yeah, time, yeah, so. they, hard sunglass cases do as well. I, oh yeah, a little monorail in the background. I do love this new fountain they've got in the middle here. It's classy. I like it, I love that smell. That smell of like, treated water. <laughs> We've decided we're going to go queue for test track because it's one of the, the rides we want to tick off before lunch. Um, but first we're just going to have a quick walk through Creations. It's just is anything new since we've been away. I've noticed that a lot of new stuff comes out sort of every day. So we're just going to see if anything else is restocked or new. new bag over there. Is there? Let's have a look. Oh, that one. I saw that one in um, when we were in Ulster Street. I'm pretty sure. It was like quite expensive. I'm expecting it to be. I think it was like really, not, I'm gonna say 90. 85. Oh, okay, standard price. It's nice, I don't think I love the white. No, I'm not sure about the print. It's no jaws, is it? <laughs> it's fine, we'll yeah. find some other things. I'm not sure about this pink, this like pink collection. To be fair, I'm not sure about the Lux collection either, but I'll have a look. So these we've seen, the Dunian Burks. I liked. The older 50th ones. I like the original 50th ones we saw in um, Oxford Street. Currently a 43 minute standby for a test track, but we're just gonna do it because, I mean, it's on our list to do. And then when we're going for lunch, it's just over there. So even if it takes a bit longer, we're fine. It says 55, but the app I use is a little bit more accurate. So let's go. Making the Batmobile. <laughs> Want to make it fast so we can win. Yeah. Purple shock, never would have thought that's what you'd have picked. Oh, stars. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> our reservation for space 220. We may have to have bar seating but that's fine for us, it's so fine. Um, we're still just gonna eat and have a nice drink and it's more just to see it rather than everything else so I'm looking forward to it. Going up in the lift, elevator, space, rocket. <laughs> in space. In the space. But yeah, what do you think of the test track? I like the old version, I think the inside bit's really boring. But Compared to Radiator Springs though. Oh yeah. yeah. Radiator Springs is much better, right? We've been given our boarding, oh sorry, our boarding pass to go to space. Very exciting. Parts Earth, arrive, where's it arrive? CSS. Oh. Part Earth, arrive, CSS. Nice, nice. We're going in elevator SV2, section four.
Space dog at some point, which is pretty cool. Our food has arrived, so we've got the deviled eggs here, which have got some bacon to slice on them. I believe this was $18, and then we've also got the chicken and waffles. And the drinks have also arrived, so we've got mine, which is the plantary punch, which is like a pina colada but purple. And then Emma's got this one, which is the nebula, which she asked if they could swap out for rum, but they couldn't. But the lady said try it, and if she doesn't like it, we'll get something else. So, interesting to see what we think. But let's let's crack on and see see what we think. I mean, I like eggs. Never had de deviled eggs, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. I mean, chicken and waffles is a win, anyway. Food all in. It was really good. Um, I don't necessarily know if it's worth the price. So just to give you an idea of the lounge food, so I had the deviled eggs. I thought they were 18, but they're actually 12. Um, oh, it was maple glazed bacon. That's why it tasted really sweet. Then Emma had the chicken and waffles, which is the fried chicken, smoked bacon, and roasted corn waffles, spice coleslaw, maple glazed. Hers were 18. Uh, cocktail wise, I Emma got the nebula to start with, didn't like it, so just gone for a coke. And I had the plan cherry punch, which has got Cardi Silver, Malibu, Blue Curacao, Guava, and coconut for $15. And it tastes just like um, a pina colada basically, but it's blue. So yeah, it is cool. And as I said, the view is oh, out of focus, still out of focus, worse now, much, much worse. There we go, the view is cool. There's a little rocket there. Um, sorry, the screen's flickering because the rate of it's so different. But yeah, it's nice in here. It's definitely a nice to come out of the heat. Um, it's, I think it's a one and done visit for me. I don't necessarily think I'll be back, but I have really enjoyed the drinks and the food. It's a little bit pricey. That was a good little break. Oh yeah, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy that we can not get into yet soon, hopefully. Friday. I got this $50 note <laughs> happened to fall into a DVC member's hands and they would possibly let me in but I think the DVC people have to have reservations as well yeah but never mind I'm gonna head out go to Pauline's French Quarter to get some beignets because actually two eggs didn't fill me up <laughs> funny enough funny that. I mean a whole Three course meal probably wouldn't have helped build me up, but here we go. Guardians. Not jealous at all. Soon. Well, we'll try. Where have you gone? We'll try for Friday. We'll try really hard. Yeah. If we get it, that'd be amazing. But be there. Refreshing. Yeah, Emma is a pro at Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes. She's on it. We have arrived at French Quarter and I actually haven't been here since I stayed here in 2015. That's so it's a throwback. But I'll give Emma the grand tour and then we'll get some beignets. Yeah, I do love this resort. It's nice and small. I think it is the smallest one. Oh, it's all the throwbacks. Yeah, of me putting on my magic band for the first time just by this fountain. This is not an automatic door. <laughs> hey, Emma might remember it from my vlog. Me stood here trying on. Oh, it smells good in here as well. I don't remember it smelling this oh, nice. Yeah. Right, so this is reception. Let's go to the shop. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then, yeah, this is it. This is like the wow. restaurants there, reception's there, shops here, and then you've just got the five, six buildings. So it's very small compared to 
compared to Coronel. Yeah, which I liked. I think that's why I picked it. Yeah. Let's have a look in the shop. Right. Oh, it smells nice in here. Oh, let's have a look at the orange flies. What we got? I've got a bum bag now, I don't need one. <laughs> Mine's better than that. I do like these leggings. I'd never wear them. Where did we see that in? Oh, that one's, I haven't seen that one. No, that was released yesterday. Shut up. How do you know these things? Because I follow loads of sites. <laughs> oh, that's very America, isn't it's it? so American. Not for me. I'd, uh, it's fine here, but like at home, people will be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing there? You doing? Oh my god, this, see, this one is a bit me. Oh my god. Because it is me. Like, it's the thing is, I want a denim jacket, but I want one that literally just exposes my gut and nothing else. It's cropped. Let your power shine. It's from. Um, it's tangled. It's very cute, but it's cropped. These are cute. Not a price for one. I think someone just bit me on the foot. <laughs> right, pins. Pins. Pins, 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 pins. pins. Oh, the plain black. I like the black. And the pink. How much are these actually priced? I actually sighed internally when I thought about it. Are they priced? Of course not. Because they don't... For $75, Probably. I want to say. I've had one cocktail and I feel a bit woozy. Ooh, this is cute. It's like, um... I don't know. <laughs> a long top with, like... This at the bottom, but because it's got mini on, it's really expensive. They're forty dollars. Get out for that. What are you on about, Disney? Oh well, look, they have the shampoo and stuff. Do you know what I do? Just take them from my room. Well, I'm feeling quite drunk. <laughs> Let's keep my have one cocktail. This is what become such a lightweight. What else we got? We we'll turn the camera off. Do I find something good to show you? They have a Portolines Christmas decoration. That is amazing. I don't think they have a Coronado. Oh my God, I love it. It doesn't go with the color scheme of my tree, but $30. Oh, it's cool though. Look at this, they've got a Christmas decoration. Oh, that's cute. It's Coronado doesn't. Where's all, lost, where's all lost stuff, eh? So I'm just showing Emma how, I forgot how small this resort is, but in the best way. We stayed in building four, which was that one, but we're gonna get a Polaroid with these gators, I think, because I need to start using some of my Polaroid film. Um, I think this is a good spot for it. Bring back some memories. Never went in this pool, but it's got a really cool slide. I have to show you. But well, you probably see it. Can you see a bit of that blue dragon, that green dragon? I'm trying to get Polaroids with, um, you know, when you're trying to see. So Emma's not in that one. <laughs> and the dragon's not in that one. We're trying, it's a work in progress. But we've just got some beignets coming. Got some hot chocolate sauce to go with them. Um, and yeah, this is my attempt at photo so far. I'm going to take a photo of the beignets. But you can see this one I quickly put in my bag and this one I wasn't so quick. And you can see how it's slightly darker just by like trying to get in there quicker. The beignets have arrived. Now I like that they're Mickey shaped. They never used to be Mickey shaped. Do they not? Now looking at it, I think we could have done three. <laughs> but hey. Well, to be fair, Ash and I bushed three when, each when we were in California. Oh, I think we could do it, but it's just a lot. So if we move, take a chocolate sauce each. We'll just bring them this way. So Emma's going to make such a mess. I can really tell. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, excuse me. Right, let's look at her top right now. Come on, no, show me your top. Oh, there's nothing on it. Give it a minute and it'll be covered in food. <laughs> because I don't think there's been a single day on the trip you haven't spilled food down yourself. You disgrace. I'm a messy eater. Yeah, I, can, I know. <laughs> just don't don't deny it. Oh, God. I can, my chair keeps going backwards. I feel like I'm falling into the next dimension. So, <laughs> Right. Oh, quickly. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but I've got a new phone case and I love it. Beignets aren't on it. They will be in a minute, but <laughs> literally. <laughs> right, let's eat this. And we've got our refillable mugs and you've got some bed. chocolate milk. That's not enough. We'll see how it goes. We're getting through them. And um, just want to say, who's getting messiest, Sarah? I keep dreaming out when I'm eating them. Look at this. They are you. Saving that for later, are we? And you thought I was gonna be the messy one. Just keep breathing out when I'm eating them. Rookie, rookie error. I was just saying to Emma, my room, it is on 15 was up there. We'd come down the steps here and then go straight to the bus station. It's nice and easy, easy resort. And I like how all the buildings are different colors. I just love this resort. Yeah, as I said, we'll definitely stay here again. And then the bus stop which we're going to go to Animal Kingdom now. 
go ride dinosaur and do some of the trails and uh, have a look around some of the animals and things like that. To continue the security gate debacle, that time I didn't even get a set off. I didn't even hold my camera in front of me. I'm just like, I literally walked over to, didn't even look. I just walked straight over to the security booth and he was like, you didn't set off. I was like, oh, really? And he went, yeah, your friend did. So I was like, okay, I'll just walk through then. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I haven't gone so dodgy looking me. Yeah, well, you're not wrong there. Right. Everyone's leaving this part, that's what we want to see. Go away so we can come in. But yeah, head to Dinosaur because it's only got a 15 minute wait. Woo! I'm gonna ride it like 10 times. Make him a really sick. After all the beignets. It's definitely a lot cooler this time than the last time we visited this park. But. Oh, look at the queue to get your photo down the bottom there. It's like a load of people there. But should we head straight to Dinosaur get out of the way? Yep. Then we can yep. get out the way. Yep. Honestly, like treasure it forever is what I meant. Should we cut through the shop? Yeah. I don't remember seeing these the last time we are here. They have boxes. How much the boxes? I bet they're very expensive. $20, whoa. $20 right there. But I like these. Just for like lounging about, so I might get a pair of these on the way out, they're 36 99 Also on the bus over here, I was pricing up Paris and uh, California trips, so <laughs> I might not be coming back to Disneyland Ooh. Florida soon. Do you want a photo? Yes, please. I might not be coming back to Disney World Florida soon, but I'm going to be going to Disney. going to bring her to California. And then Tokyo. Okay. We're going to take a picture of this. There's a got a mural. Oh look, I was actually doing the pose, there you go. Right. Get a photo of her. Well, we happen to be walking past here as uh, the second Kite Tales performance. The one we haven't seen is going off, which this one is The Lion King. Oh, there's Pumba as well. I just, this is going to be a hot mess, and I'm so here for it. We don't get to see them crash normally from this angle. No. I feel like that makes more sense than blue. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Simba. <laughs> this mouth open. <laughs> he just looks like he's going. <laughs> One. Oh my god, he's gonna go down sooner. We're losing Simba. Oh yes, he's coming this way. Is he coming down here? Oh, and behind the tree. Oh yes, down. Oh god, Simba's gonna hit the ground, oh my god! Are we still going? <laughs> oh, watch out for Pimba! Oh, we've lost him, we've lost him! <laughs> oh, that is the best thing I've ever seen! Are they getting off again? <laughs> oh, they've given up. That's incredible. Is he going off stage? Oh, brilliant. He's just getting slowly dragged away. Oh, there we go. Come on, crash. Oh. Here he comes. Yes.
think he's going to make it back round. Is he making it? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh. <laughs> Go on, get him down now. Poor crash. <laughs> oh my god. How's he going around again? Let's go around again. Look, is that it? <laughs> is he going around again? Who's coming out now? Oh, it's Ozzy, he's going down. Go on. Oh my god. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's face first. <laughs> oh god. Look at the devastation. <laughs> Never seen him look so glorious. Okay. Brilliant. Love that. Love every minute of that. Better than the first time we watched Better her. The, first time we watched the it. fact that Pumbo didn't make it around once <laughs> just was the best bit about it. <laughs> she took off. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I hope they never get rid of that. I want to get like a Kite Tales oh, pin or something if they have it, just to remember the joy that that brought us. Kite Tales is the best thing to have ever. Oh, it's weird to see the, um, oh my god, I've got the ride's called now. The, like, wild mouse one. Spin? No, no, that's right, Sarah Spin. Oh, it's called cool. Scarina. Oh, uh, Primeval Well. That's it. Gone. Anyway, enough about that. We're here for the main event. <laughs> Still probably my favourite ride in the whole Disney World. Do, 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 it's not the, no, it's... It's the wrong film, Emma! Have you seen this film? <laughs> no, I don't think I have. Oh, I should have made you watch it before we came out. You won't understand! In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on you to ready? the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Here we go, here we go. Hello there! Transdimensional joyride, Best folks. Bit. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. I had the most fun on that ride. Um, she was so excited, it was so cool. Now we're going into what's this shop called? I can't remember. I know there's a little train going on, it's like all the collectors. We have, oh, that's the visor of dreams right there. Oh, they've got, hold on, what are these coins? That one's cool. Who was it? We have Pua, don't we? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Fear me, please. That's really cute. As there is no queue, we're going to go and try Ceratops Spin next. I like this. Walk ons. It's a good thing about doing Animal Kingdom in the afternoon. Someone took our dinosaur, they obviously can't count. So we managed to find a, an empty one. Can't count. <laughs> you can take us up or down, Emma. Nice. See how I feel. Surprise. Oh. Here we go. We're bouncing, we are bouncing. Oh, I don't know if <laughs> the beignets are too safe for this. <laughs> Ooh, we'll leave back. And we <laughs> for one Oh, you're a Have a look at the view, rather than my face. Is it Chester and Hester's? That's what the shop's called, I think. Oh. Oh god, oh she's, she's just making it bounce. Oh god, oh god. You need to stop that. <laughs> little meteors going around the middle. Oh, and the little triceratops. I like triceratops because they have my name in them. Triceratops. Triceratops. Ready? No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Come <laughs> 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 on. So we've got a Kite Tails pin and while I was getting it, Emma spotted this. I've been looking this whole trip for a 2022 pin and we finally found one in Dinoland USA. At the random car over there where you get your tickets for the games. 
Oh, I'm so, so happy. And it spins. Wow. Good try, though. Emma's got some tickets, so she's going to try and win some dinosaurs. Which one are you going to go for if you win? There's, there's the one that looks like the dinosaur above us. Yeah. There's the Triceratops spin one. Lots of options. Go on, Emma. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Last go. Oh, 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 no. Never mind. I'm going to take a picture of your ticket. These are really cool. I'm not doubting you, but I'm not, I'm not backing you either right now. It's too high. Uh oh, I didn't turn you on now. Whoa, okay, there's me down with you. Oh, you got one. Oh, he's in the dino outfit though. Thank you. He's in the outfit, I doubt with you. I'll tell you what, today I've just not been backing you and it's... <laughs> well done. There you go, you got a Mickey. That's the cheapest Mickey you're ever going to get in Disney, I reckon. And here they come. Emma's realising uh, how big that drop was that she did. It is quite high. I still wouldn't say it was as high as the Jurassic Park. Oh, no, 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 it's nowhere near. Like that, yeah. These are cool, the little. Oh, hi, Mickey. I'm going to take Emma through the trails. The first look at a Mickey in her bag. So the first one we're going to do is the Maharaja Jungle Trek. See some tigers. Oh, I never see him out and about. Oh. You just chill on a rock. Anyway, Komodo dragons there if you haven't noticed. Hi. Hello. They, yes. They rarely come on this side to swim. That's good. Kind of just water. chill. I appreciate that. We're in the bird bit and there are very many birds <laughs> everywhere. It's like that Alfred Hitchcock film. Oh, look. Floor beds. Oh, hi, floor beds. No, no. You stay away. Oh, it's loud in here, isn't it? Where am I looking? Oh, floor beds. Hello, little bird in the tree. Oh, look at that one, that white one next to it. That's pretty cool looking. There are quite a lot of them out, I guess because there's not that many people in here. Oh. Whoa, massive bird there. Should have got the guide rather than just going bird. Bird. Other bird. Birds. Bigger birds. A lot of birds in here. Little birds. Oh my god, that colour is really beautiful. Don't get too close, it's going to fight my face. Okay. Lots of do little over here. We've got some chicken fried rice, a big coke, and some waters. Um, just because we're still a bit full from the mediates. Oh, my legs. <sighs> okay. Alright, here's your freshly made chicken fried rice. Lovely. Coke to share. They used to sell Mickey reusable straws and they don't seem to do them anymore. So we could have bought some and then we wouldn't have had to worry about straws. Yeah, but never mind. Pretty hungry, so I'm going to enjoy this. Let's have a look. Oh yes, delicious. This is good. Oh, this is bloody delicious. Mm. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> um, I think it was six dollars something. Mm. And they make it fresh, so really nice. Nice like. I'd say this is a meal, rather than a snack. Yeah. Definitely. Some big bits of rice up. But yeah, you get a nice big portion. Um, and so six, so we paid twelve ninety eight for both our rices and then a large coke was four fifty nine. So after tax, our total came to eighteen seventy two. Not bad. I mean, not great, but not bad. We have managed to get a um, lightning lane for Remy's. What well, Remy's? Uh, Remy's Ratatouille. Remy's Ratatouille adventure. Oh, it's cool. At 8.20. Because of my amazing skills. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head over back to Epcot now. Go on that. And um, we've had some rice for dinner, but we might get something like a pudding on top of the food. And then go from there. Bus has arrived. We're only here for like a long time. 20 minutes? 50 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, 10 Okay. Yeah. I just had to exaggerate. This bus is blooming freezing. Yeah, it was, but this pool was really cold. Just put your head on it. <laughs> you look totally normal. 
Emma had a fantastic suggestion of maybe going to the patisserie in France to get something before Remy's for pudding just, after our rice. It's just amazing. It's not a bad shout, so I think we might do that. We'll have a look on the way <laughs> and see what other things like on the way gets going, but on the way, on the way, on the way, on the way. Is that what they're saying? What? In the song? No, it's a wimble way. Okay, I thought I'd just been saying the lyrics wrong this whole time. I was like, is it on the way? No, okay, it was a wimble way. It's fine. I think coming out a bit later has definitely helped us be able to stay out later. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, I think we're going to get the fireworks done tonight. Oh my you have yes. to do one or the other. So early days are for getting your rides done. Yeah. And then when you want to do fireworks, evening entertainment. Come out later. And photos, yeah. I have also realised I haven't shown up much of the toperies. So there's this really pretty like butterflies. We've got, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, we've got Goofy over there. Again, I love this fountain. It's just saying like with the flower and garden. Should we go for the butterfly garden? Oh, it's open, yeah. I forgot what we um, missed. I feel like we haven't really done it much, but then I guess with the dining plan. Did you used to get bits as credits? Or? Yeah, yeah, so you can have anything as credits. I mean, we just haven't had the time. No. It's, it's been so it's hot. Been raining. Oh, hot. We have tried. Yeah. The issue is that I think you should say you like to shut up. Because I'm serious right now. You're serious. You're serious. I think she's drunk. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, this is the place. I oh, know. Right, let's see if the butterfly house is open. Doesn't look open. No. We'll have to come back. We've gone for the wild something. Is it wild something? Wildflower uh, honey cheesecake and the honey peach freeze without the souvenir cup. And um, we just got the normal cup. So let's give this a go. I've actually think I've had a version of this before. Let me try. So <laughs> we've got ducks. Yeah, they will go for your food. So. Hey, duckies. Right, I'm assuming it's edible flour, but we'll leave that. A bit of cheesecake. Delicious. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna try about this. Mm -hmm. Nice hot. and light, isn't it? That's so good. It's interesting. It's a lot creamy than I thought it would be. I was. I, it's like I was, milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, um, oh, you know fruits? Mm hmm. That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a fruit. Mm hmm. Good though. The UK, but then you've got Pooh Bear, Carrot, Carrot, <laughs> Rabbit, this way. You can smell the fish and chips. Sounds better than the guy that was playing last night in the uh, yeah. best way going. <laughs> right. Let's go on Remy's. It's quite busy in this bit today, but I mean it's been quite busy this week, to be honest. Ratatouille. So this is the first time we've gone through this section, I think. Because, well, did we get it wrong to the shop? I don't remember. But we've seen it from the skyline now for sure. Oh, look at the little cheese flashing lights. That's cool. And no, no use for it other than this time. But I mean, there isn't much of a queue. That's right, because we got lightning. We paid for it. We did, yeah. Yeah, because if you get in the queue now, you are cutting it fine to be done by the fireworks. Yeah, we learned our lesson with space. Yeah, we did. And we got there a bit late. Right, this bit, the fountain, you can write in my. <laughs> you keep crossing my path on top. Um, this, they have this fountain in Paris, but this area is obviously laid out quite different. And there's no Remy's restaurant here. Oh, yeah, against the crowd. But yeah, it's cool. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Let's go. I'm pretty sure it's a carbon copy, but we'll see. And we're off. Oh, we're spinning. There's the loading bay. Oh, my God. 
Вадим, вины, вины, свиньи не плачут. I do like it. I actually prefer the Paris version just because it, I don't know, I think it's, I don't know, I just like the authenticity of it being in Paris, being the French ride. I get to ride the Paris one too. Yeah. And I like that the Paris one ends up in the restaurant and stuff, and then you've got the cute little gift shop. Okay, I definitely like that one, but I'd say the Paris one is my favourite. Um, we are going to go get some little fun legs for three now, and then take it over to Norway. That's where Mark and Jem recommended we watch the fireworks from. So we're gonna do that. I'm just getting there. Get that shot. Oh, magic. So get that shot. The line is pretty crazy, so we're just gonna keep going and maybe just get a normal ice cream or something. This is the queue for the ice cream shop. Look, it goes all the way back. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going to there. So yeah, let's just keep let's just keep walking around. I think everyone else had the same idea as us. We weren't smart. We just went with the crowd. <laughs> it's not in focus because we're moving. But I've grabbed some on-the-go frushi, but Emma is on a mission. Shouldn't we don't need to go this quickly, Emma. <laughs> just gonna chase her with my frushi. She's bleeding the way. We've got our Joffreys. I've got a wonder. No, Wildberry Wonder Refresher. You've got peach iced tea. So we decided we're going to watch um, the photos from Italy. Basically, you can see everything from over there. So in a minute, we'll just get up and go stand over there. dessert party. Yeah. So. And even if we stood up against this flower bed here, we'd still have a good view of it all. So I'm not worried about our view from here. As I said, Welsh Showcase is huge, so you've kind of got loads of options to view it. Unlike Magic Kingdom, where you've kind of got Main Street and that's it. So yeah, I'm mean, looking forward to this. Yeah, finally too. happening. Have you not seen Harmonious like, yet? Yeah. Seen nothing about it. Oh. I know it's called Harmonious, and that's about as much as I know. So interested to see what I think. Yeah. Have you watched it then? No, I don't think I have either. Oh, okay. We'll see no. how it goes. Right. Let's. What time is it? Three minutes. Should we get up in a sec? Opinions of Harmonious as someone who's never seen the Epipoets before, so coming in yeah, fresh, so fresh eyes. I thought it was good. I don't think because I've seen Illuminations, um, Epcot Forever. So when we were at California, we saw Fantasmic and yeah. we saw Paint the Night. It wasn't called Happily Ever After, but it was like Find Your Happy Ever After, or something. I can't remember what it's called now. 
and that as not as fun, it was good and there was a Lion King part which I loved and the Coco part um, but I don't feel it emotionally sort of did anything it just was kind of like a nice firework display I don't know the, the battery is flashing on this, so I don't think I'm going to have enough time to give my opinion. So I might give my opinion on the iPhone, and then I'll just snip the footage in afterwards. We'll see how far I can get with it. Okay, I'll see how much I can get through on this camera before it dies. Um, I'm trying to, like, think all round. Who, no, not be positive. Just trying to think who the target market is, and is it for me? Because for me, when it comes to fireworks, I always, and they change them, I always want them to be bringing something new and better. And I, for me personally, don't think those barges brought anything more to it that they could have done with the fireworks by themselves. Yeah. Like the octopus thing. However, yeah. for children, it may be more stimulating. I think for children, it's great because it features you've the characters. Got Coco, you've got but then, Frozen, you've got Obviously, Princess and the Frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New but then, I haven't seen Enchantment yet, but that was always what Magic Kingdom did. Magic Kingdom Fireworks featured all the songs from the films, and Epcot had a story about like the world coming together, and I suppose it kind of did, but it didn't really like, say, pull on my heartstrings. And I felt the fireworks weren't as good as Illuminations. It was still a really good show, it just like, to me, that felt more Magic Kingdom to me than it did Epcot -y. Um But I'll s think about this more and reevaluate, but I still, I grew up with Illuminations, so I think Illuminations is always going to be my favourite. But then I, saying that, as soon as I saw Happy Ever After, I'm like, I love it. But she didn't feel that with this one. So, apparently they've improved um, the new Magic Kingdom Enchantment show as well. They've put, and we did kind of see that when we were in the Yeah, the fireworks look good. I just need, some, I need some of the story to grab me in. We'll see. My camera has died, so I'm filming the rest of this from the iPhone. Um, but oh, look how much, how much, yeah, how much empty here is that? Is that right, Nish? Um, look how yeah. empty this look is. Look how much emptier it is since yeah. the fireworks. Okay, <laughs> tired. Look how much more empty this is since the fireworks finished. Actually, nice to walk down here. Yeah. Um, but and we're gonna... this is weird. I'm dry. You're dry in Epcot. Dry in Epcot. What? Who would have thought it? Anyway, we're heading out this way, and then I'll show you the. Beautiful. Oh, that is not so much, but this is beautiful. Oh god, she's going. Okay. Okay. Someone needs to get to bed, I think. We're back in the room and I just bought these earlier. Just wanted to show them off. They're like lounge trousers. Got them a bit big and they've got Mickeys all over them and pockets. And I'm 5'10 and they're quite long on me. I mean, you could if you really want to pull them right up. But yeah, just for height preferences. They are, they are long, that's what I wanted. So yeah, these are super duper comfy, baggy, great loungewear. I think these are 34.99, but I really like them. Like the Steamboat Willie on here, that Steamboat, focus on the Steamboat Mickey there. Cool, right. So we are trying some, oh, ignore the mess. <sighs> Nitro Pepsi. Emma's got one already open. How is it? You said it tastes like draft Pepsi. Mm. So, not rate it? Oh, she's eating. She's finally, I'm forcing her to eat her cookies because she's got so many snacks over there she's not eating. <sighs> it's, um, it tastes like pump Pepsi. It's very sweet. Um, and Less bubbles? Yeah, it's quite flat. I mean, it's nitro. Oh, no. You just got it everywhere. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, my electricals. <laughs> <laughs> Woman. The only way I can describe it is it pours like a Guinness. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see the bubbles are really like teeny tiny. And what I was going to say is the, the lack of bubbles, I think, adds to the sweetness. Okay. Oh, it's not like sloshy. Mm -mm. It's incredible. Oh, that is a weird taste. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. It's like almost like caramelly. Yeah. It's like butter beer, the, the topping. Yeah. It's like the topping on butter beer, it's like that kind of consistency. I mean, it's nice, but. I don't think I'll order it again. But 
Yeah, so it's got like a creamy top in the foam because the bubbles are so small and it's very like caramelly sweet. It's so sweet. But then we don't usually drink regular Pepsi. No, I drink Pepsi Max at home. So, it's nice though. Anyway, my battery's flashing, so I'm gonna end the video here. And see you all tomorrow. We've got um, breakfast at Whispering Canyons. We're gonna do some resort hopping, go to Animal Kingdom again, finish your Magic Kingdom. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.